Hello friends, my today's topic is rotational symmetry. So if a figure is rotated around a center point, here I have taken equilateral triangle, two equilateral triangles are there and if I will rotate this, so if a figure is rotated around a center point and it will appear exactly same as it was before the rotation here you can say that every time if I am rotating you can see the figure before rotation then we can say that here is a rotational symmetry so we can say that in equilateral triangle we can observe rotational symmetry we can rotate clockwise or we can rotate anti-clockwise the meaning is same now the next is order of rotation. So how many times it appears the same here you can see that I have made one dot on both the triangles. So now one time I am rotating you are getting the same figure. Second time I am rotating again you can observe the same figure and third time I am rotating again you will get the same way. So here uh, the order of rotation for uh, Equilateral triangle is 3 because 3 times if we rotate we get the same figure. Now the next one is how to find out angle of rotation around a point we know that we have 360 degree angle. So 360 degree divided by 3 by 3 because order of rotation is 3 for equilateral triangle. So 360 degree divided by 3 will give you 120 degree. So for equilateral triangle your angle of rotation is 120 degree. So here you can see that I am talking about equilateral triangle. Number of line of symmetry also you can find out. You can fold the figure and find out already I have conducted video for that so number of line of symmetry is 3 order of rotation is 3 angle of rotation how to find 360 degree divided by 3 will give you 120 degree so for equilateral triangle angle of rotation is 120 degree now one by one we will go through with all type of triangles so now the second triangle is your isosceles triangle here you can see that I have taken one isosceles triangle Okay, so now again we will rotate this here, point is same, okay, I am rotating one time, so this doesn't fix each other, this, uh, these two triangles cannot overlap, now again second time cannot overlap. Now third time it can overlap. So in one rotation you can see that only with the 360 degree rotation or only by one rotation you can see that two triangles are in the same position. So for isosceles triangle order of rotation is 1 and angle of rotation will be 360 degree divided by 1 that is 360 degree. So this is the thing. For isosceles triangle, number of line of symmetry is 1. Already I have conducted the video for this. Uh, order of rotation is 1 and angle of rotation will be 360 divided by 1 will give you 360 degree. Now take scalene triangle. You can observe that this is your scalene triangle. All the three sides are different in length. So now again two dots are on the same position on right hand side. Just rotate one time. See you cannot get the same position. Rotate second time. Again you cannot get the same position. And now rotate third time. You can see that both the triangles are in the same position. So here also order of rotation is 1. And angle of rotation will be 360 degree divided by 1. Will give you 360 degree. And number of line of symmetry will be 0. You just try to fold and find out. You will get number of line of symmetry is 0. After triangle now we will go for quadrilateral so the first thing I am taking over here rectangle okay so rectangle here also you can see that on right hand side two dots are there just rotate one time it's not same rotate second time yes two figures can fix each other so one time we can get the same again you are not getting and the second time rotation if you are doing you will get both the dots on the same place and both the rectangles 
are on the same place so once again i am showing you this is one time you are getting two rectangles and this is the second time again you will can see two rectangles are together so this is the way we can say that in a rectangle order of rotation is 2 so angle of rotation will be 360 degree divided by 2 so you will get 180 degree and number of line of symmetry is 2 for a rectangle now the next one is square this is the square two dots are on the same place so start rotating this is one rotation you can see that two squares again second rotation again you can see that now with the third rotation again you can see that two squares are in the same place and this is fourth rotation again you can see that dots are on the same place so in a in a square we can say that order of rotation is 4 and angle of rotation will be 360 degree divided by 4 will give you 90 degree and number of line of symmetry is 4 parallelogram this is your parallelogram okay start rotating this is the first rotation you are not getting now with the second rotation you can see that you can see two parallelograms are in the same place this is the third rotation you are not getting and fourth rotation again you can see that both the dots are in the same place both the both the parallelograms in the same place so here for the parallelogram you can see that order of rotation is 2 this is 1 and this is 2 okay so for parallelogram if you will fold this parallelogram you will get zero line of symmetry means you you will not get any line of symmetry order of rotation is 2 and angle of rotation will be 360 degree divided by 2 will give you 180 degree so what we have observed here, it's not necessary if a figure has line of symmetry, then the figure will get, uh, sorry, if the figure has no line of symmetry, figure will not get line of symmetry. So if line of symmetry is not there, then also you can find out here order rotational symmetry that is order of rotation. Now for Rhombus, this is your homework. Find out order of rotation and angle of rotation. Trapezium is also your homework. You can find out order of rotation and angle of rotation. Same way, kite is also your homework. Just rotate it and find out order of rotation and angle of rotation. Now take a circle. Circle, we know that the line of symmetry is infinite. So here also if you will rotate the circle with the small cap also. Every time you will get circle is in the same place. So order of uh, or rotational symmetry will be infinite. Here you will get infinite rotational symmetry for a circle. Now take for semicircle. This is your semicircle. On both the dots are on the right hand side. Just rotate it. See every time you are rotating. But after only one rotation. You will find out two dots are on the same place. So order of rotation for a semicircle will be 1. And angle of rotation will be 360 degree divided by 1. That is 2. Okay. Now we have the one very important thing. If your order of rotation is more than 1, then only we can say that we can find out rotational symmetry. Now, here in isosceles triangle, your order of rotation is only 1. Okay, so we can say that order of rotation is 1 in isosceles triangle, but we cannot observe rotational symmetry in uh, 
in a isosceles triangle so order of rotation should be more than one then only we can say that a figure has rotational symmetry same way for the semicircle also order of rotation is one so we cannot observe rotational symmetry in semicircle but the order of rotation is one now same way you can find out rotational symmetry for the letters also the letter x just rotate this so and once again you rotate this so you will get x so for the x your order of rotation is 2 and angle of rotation is 180 degree so same way this is also your homework just try to find out order of rotation for letters also the same way we have done order of rotation and angle of rotation for geometrical figures you can find out for letters also this is your work just cut all the letters all the symmetrical letters i told you how to cut the letters which are symmetrical and the letters which are not symmetrical so this is the way you can find out rotational symmetry in letters also so thank you for watching today's video.